All right, what is going on everybody? Brent here, OUnitProductions.com. And as you can see, I'm not in the regular area here today, not in the office. I am coming to you from Kentucky. I actually just crossed the border. We are at the Kentucky Welcome Station, heading down to Tennessee today. The past few days, as you know, if you've been following along at OUPPhotographyTour.com or OUnitProductions.com, I've been all over the place, Chicago, Illinois, St. Louis, Missouri, now Kentucky, uh, we're getting ready to go onward, like I said, to Tennessee and Cincinnati, Ohio, and Delaware at the end of the week, Dover, Delaware, Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, maybe even stopping in Hershey on the way home. That would be next uh, Tuesday. But I just wanted to stop in and share some recent pics with you guys, stuff that I've been picking up the last couple days. Cool stuff, finding all kinds of killer smalls for the co-ops. So let's go ahead and get right into that right now. All right, here you can see some of the stuff that I've been picking up so far on this trip. Uh, really, really cool stuff that I think I'm going to make some good money on. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into some of these items here. Uh, first off, you see this Missouri plate, Show Me State. It's actually a matching pair of plates. You see they're both the same number. These ones here are from 1980, as you can see right there. Uh, also, when it comes to the matching plates, another matching set. This is an Illinois plate. These are 1982. Pretty good condition on these. And finally, we've got these 1964 Illinois plates. They say the land of Lincoln. Absolutely cool colors. Plates like this, for me, I mean, they're going to be nothing but really fast sellers. Well, again, let me just reiterate the fact that these are a uh, matching set as well. But anyway, really cool colors. They're going to be pretty quick sales in my co-op booths. And all together for all of these, I believe I paid $10. And for a set like this, honestly, at my booths in Pennsylvania, I easily don't see why I can't get probably about 15 bucks for this set, maybe around 15 for this one, and probably about the same for this. Like I said, probably be uh, pretty quick sales. All right, moving on. At well, I believe these were all from in Illinois at a co-op booth that I picked these up. Uh, moving on, we got these three lot of cola bottles. These were also from a uh, co-op booth in Illinois. Never heard of this brand, but it's actually marked Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, which is an area that I frequent quite often. So I'm actually pretty excited to see how these do, but I only paid like $1.25 a piece. I'm thinking I can probably get about five to seven on these. Bottles is one, always one of my biggest sellers in my co-op booths. Uh, next up, uh, in my area, central Pennsylvania, I see the, uh, the Penn State bottle all the time, the 7-Up Penn State commemorative bottle. This is commemorating the 1973 National Championship season of Notre Dame. Uh, I'm sure there are lots of Notre Dame fans in the State College area, not as many obviously as there would be next to the college, but uh, I'm sure this is going to be a quick sale and I think I only paid $2 for that. Probably going to easily get about 8 to 10 on that. Uh, next up we got another set of plates here. This is actually the first thing I picked on this trip. Uh, these are 1965 Illinois matching plates. It was $5 for the set, and once again, probably going to end up getting around $15 for these. All of the matching sets, I don't plan on breaking them up. I'm going to just sell them as is. Um, like I said, you don't find matching sets too often in Pennsylvania, so I really, really think I'm going to end up doing good on these. And this right here is just a single plate. I picked this for $2 out of a co-op, 1982 Illinois. I love the fact that it was a farm plate. I just really, really thought it was cool, and i probably ask about 8 to 10 on that. All right, moving on. This I actually just picked today in St. Louis, Missouri. I had a, uh, a really cool lead on this, on Cherokee Street is where it's at in St. Louis. So if you get a, a chance in St. Louis, stop by Cherokee Street. Tons of antique shops, kind of reminded me of Adamstown, Pennsylvania, but on a smaller scale. Lots of just piles of junk, unorganized chaos, but beautiful chaos. Uh, I saw this on the shelf, and my mom is actually a huge Playboy fan, so it drew my attention right away. But it's definitely an old piece, probably from about the 60s or 70s. It's marked USA Pottery. It has the Playboy logo, and I was talking to the dealer, if, trying to figure out if he knew more about why it had the Playboy logo or what the history might have been. He wasn't too sure, but I'm actually thinking it might be an official Playboy piece from back then, made by USA Pottery. Got to do a little bit more research on this, but I ended up getting this for five dollars. Uh, Mark ten on it, but I talked him down to five because I got a bundle, which you're about to see the other two things next. And uh, 
I don't, I, I want to do some research on this when I get home, but I probably would uh, venture to say that I'm going to end up getting anywhere between maybe 20 maybe $30 on this. But again, that's just an estimate. Could be wrong on that. Uh, this piece right here, absolutely super cool. It's got tons of killer art, or not art, but tons of killer graphics still on it. It's a uh, payloader. I forget the brand, but it's marked on here somewhere. It's a uh, Hauk. A Hauk payloader. Missing a few pieces, but it's really, really cool. Gonna clean this up a little bit. I ended up getting this for $20. He was asking $25, but I talked him down to $20, and I don't see why I can't get at least about $50 for that. Maybe $45 or so at the lowest. That's the other part of the uh, two-part bundle with the Playboy bottle. The third part being this killer piece. I had a uh, Sunshine beer advertising that was sort of like this. Um, ended up selling it pretty fast. I got that piece at an auction in Pennsylvania. And um, I sold it at my co-op in Milroy, Pennsylvania within probably about a month. This piece, when I first saw it, I absolutely fell in love with it. It's Laurel Springs Straight Kentucky Bourbon. I'm kind of in the sun here, so let me get out of the way. But anyway, Laurel Springs Kentucky Bourbon. Only $25 was marked on it. I instantly thought I, you know, I could at least double my money on that, but I ended up talking them down to $20. I think I'm probably going to end up getting between $50 and $75 on that. Got to do a little bit of research, but it's definitely probably my, probably my favorite pick of this trip so far, although I have a few more coming up that I'm getting ready to show you that might be close to that. Um, but like I said, really, really cool. And I got the Laurel Springs, the payloader, and the USA Pottery Playboy piece, all for $45. I think I'm going to do really, really good on that pick. All right, next up, something else I've never got to see before. Really, really unique Pepsi Cola. It's a little bucket. Not sure if it's an ice bucket or what it might be. Got to do a little bit of research. But the thing that I originally thought was really cool about it, and I actually can't find it right now. There it is. It says, uh, I don't know if you can see that because of the sun and because of the fact that I'm filming outside, but it says colored with caramel. Honestly, that's probably the main reason that I bought this. It was only 10 bucks, so I definitely took a chance on it, but at the very least, I'll double my money, get 20, maybe a little bit more if I throw it up on eBay and I find the right person for it. But really, really cool piece. It spoke to me, and if nothing else, it will look awesome in one of my shops. All right, so that is that. Showed you all these things, all the plates, the bottles, killer truck. Uh, one more thing to show you guys, and that is right here, this is one of the first things that I picked up in Illinois um, at a co-op. Actually, haven't been to a flea market yet, but that's going to be changing as the week goes on. I have a couple leads on flea markets to hopefully find some other killer stuff. But this is the first thing. As you see, it's Ting Beverages. And on the side here, it's marked uh, Little Shoot Wisconsin, Little Shoot Wisconsin Bottling Co. I love the fact that it still had that on there. Uh, it's a cardboard box, but it's got the metal corners and the metal support system going up on the top. And inside, as you see, it's got nine Ting bottles. Uh, I'm not going to sell this as a complete set. Well, it's not a complete set because it's missing three bottles, but I'm going to end up breaking this down, selling the box at one of the co-ops, and selling all the bottles split up between my three co-ops. Maybe if I get motivated, I will uh, throw one up on eBay and see how it does. After I do some research, that is. I haven't really researched it yet. But I just haven't seen any of these bottles in Pennsylvania, especially in my co-ops. So I'm pretty positive they're going to be a very quick sale. Um, this box, it was marked $30. Uh, I went up and asked if there was any discounts. And lo and behold, he told me that there was a... Uh, well, he told my girlfriend. She's actually the one that asked. And he told her that there was 10% over $20, so I ended up getting 10% off that, so around $26, $27. Killer piece, I'm probably gonna ask about 30 for the box, and the bottles on the inside between, I would say five and $8 a piece, so you can go ahead and do the math there. So that is that, these are the first set of picks from the 2012 Summer OUP, OUP Photography Tour. Very curious to know what you guys think, what is your favorite item, what do you think will do the best, and how are you guys doing? I am having a blast on the road, all kinds of killer stuff coming up, getting extremely excited to finish out this tour, uh, getting extremely excited for some of the flea markets that I'm going to be seeing as the week progresses. Um, very, very beautiful here so far in Kentucky. 
Haven't seen much of it, just crossed the border as I said, but it's been between 100 and 110 degrees ever since I've been down. Pretty much in St. Louis and past St. Louis, the temperatures have been rising as you can imagine here in the south, but having a blast. I'm gonna keep on picking, keep on having a good time. Actually stopped at a, a huge Superman statue in Metropolis, Illinois. Um, just came from there actually before we stopped at the Welcome Center. Um, check out OUPPhotographyTour.com. I posted some exclusive blogs already and I'm gonna to continue to do so as the week goes on and the live streaming. I have tons of exclusive videos, tons of exclusive embedded videos on OUNITProductions.com right now. So check that out if you get a chance. I'll leave you guys with another view of these killer picks that will be coming to an OUP shop real soon. Thank you guys for watching and I will check back again on eBay, most likely here this week. Thank you guys. Did I say eBay? I don't know what I said, but I meant to say here on YouTube again this week. Maybe I said YouTube. The sweat beads are pouring down my face. So regardless, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks.